Top 15 Best Places to Visit in Cebu City, Philippines 1. Argao A town that exudes a charm that has remained unspoiled by humans, and is situated two hours south of Cebu City. It is a straightforward and peaceful village. There is a lot to learn about the wonderful activities to do in Argao, even though it is not as popular as other locations. One of the more popular tourist attractions in Argao is the Church of San Miguel Arcangel, which is a Roman Catholic church. It was established as a parish in 1703 under the Augustinian order, and was later converted into a stone church in 1734, and was completed in 1788. 2. Oslob Situated near the southernmost point of Cebu, Despite being a little seaside village, this place is now a popular choice for tourists and travelers from all over the world. Oslob is one of the best places to swim with whale sharks, the largest fish in the world. Being able to swim with these magnificent creatures is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and is something you shouldn't miss out on, while visiting Oslob. 3. Sumalan Island Sandbar Just a short 10-minute ride from Oslob, Sumalan Island has become popular amongst tourists for its picturesque scenery, clear blue waters, and very fine powder-like sands. The island is small, but makes for a very relaxing and exotic getaway from the city life, which can be enjoyed as a day trip with friends and family. 4. Tumalog Falls Tumalog Falls is also a highly recommended attraction to visit while in Oslo. The water is not very deep. You can soak your feet in the refreshing water while enjoying the cool breeze from the amazing waterfall. It is a lovely and very peaceful place to relax, after a long day of swimming with the whale sharks. 5. Kaosan Falls Being one of the most popular waterfalls in all of the Philippines, Kaosan Falls can sometimes be a bit overcrowded, but is still well worth a visit. This place is perfect for nature lovers, it's a 2-3 hours ride from the city. The easiest and cheapest way to get there is by bus. The long travel is worth it. Once you arrive, you will be treated to beautiful picturesque waterfalls, and clear and cold water. For those who love adventure, have fun and enjoy the canyoneering. 6. Agwinid Falls Although not quite as popular as Kawasan Falls, Agwinid Falls have become an exciting destination among tourists on the island of Cebu. For those adventure seekers out there, you are able to climb up the rocks, along with a tour guide to ensure everyone's safety. The falls has eight different levels to climb, each level is a true combination of adventure and beauty. 7. Cebu, Taoist Temple Cebu, Taoist Temple, is a religious site located in the Beverly Hills subdivision of Cebu City. It became popular among visitors, due to its peculiar structure, and artistic appeal. The temple was built in 1972 in Chinese style by the Chinese Taoist community. It offers stunning views of the city's skyline, and the azure lake separating the capital from Mactan Island. This temple is great for those looking to escape the city and breathe some fresh air. You can relax and perhaps get your tension relieved, by visiting the temples, observe the religious monuments, artwork, and dragons. In addition to its hillside gardens, the property is surrounded by an open tranquil greenery, which contributes to its restorative effects. Of course, if you practice Taoism, this is the ideal location for you to pray or reflect on your spirituality and way of life. 8. Temple of Leia The temple was built by Teodorico Soriano Adarnas, as a gesture of love to his late wife, Mia Albino Adarna. This is a relatively new temple. The construction started in 2012, and has been designed in an ancient Greek style, with fantastically built statues and architecture. The temple is made up of 24 chambers that house an art gallery, museum, library and bar. It's a great place for taking pictures, as it is situated on top of a mountain, and overlooks the city of Cebu, for some utterly breathtaking views. The Temple of Leah is one of Cebu City's must-see attractions that can be enjoyed by tourists of all ages. 9. Sinulog Festival A traditional celebration in Cebu City, held every January is a month-long celebration, to honor the Santo Niño, or Child Jesus. The festival is done by a dance ritual, in which it tells the story of the Filipino people's pagan past and their acceptance of Christianity. The word Sinulog means graceful dance. One of the most famous festivals in the Philippines. People from all over the world join in on the festivities. Filipinos and other Asians refer to the occasion as the mother of all festivals, due to its magnitude. 
The Simulog Festival never fails to astound its audience with its gorgeous dances, vibrant and well-made costumes for its dancers, and the music provided by native gongs, trumpets, and drums. As the popularity of the festival has increased over the years, it has now also expanded to include art exhibits, beauty pageants, photo contests, and singing contests. 10. Cebu, Basilica del Santo Niño The church was founded by Fray Andres de Jordaneta, on the 28th of April 1565, and is the oldest Roman Catholic church in the Philippines. The locals worship a picture of the baby Jesus, that is hidden away in a chapel to the left of the altar. It is believed to be miraculous, and dates back to the time of Magian. The picture serves as the focal point of the Sinulog Festival, which is the biggest yearly festival in Cebu. 11. La Pulapu Shrine, in Mactan Island A 20-meter bronze statue, located in the Mactan Shrine Park in Mactan Island. The statue was built to commemorate Raja Lapu-Lapu, the indigenous Mactan Island leader, who in the famous Battle of Mactan in 1521, defeated Ferdinand Magian. The Magian Shrine Park, which honors the Battle of Mactan, contains a plaza where the Lapu-Lapu Shrine is located. Every year, thousands of local and international tourists visit the park. 12. Cebu's Oceanarium This is the first marine park in the Visayas and Mindanao featuring over 200 different species of sea animals, as well as several species of birds, insects and reptiles, and is the largest oceanarium in all of the Philippines. The ocean park also features function areas and a food hall, and can be visited all year round. The park features a stunning walkthrough of the watery depths, that is home to a richly diverse collection of the world's most amazing aquatic species. With an impressive volume of 3,500 cubic meters of seawater, and a 7.2 meter water depth, visitors can fully immerse themselves in the ocean world, while enthralling mermaids swim beside their aquatic companions. Visitors will be taken on an underwater walkway that will take them to a magnificent 360 degree viewing tube, where they can see large toothy sharks, vibrant reef fish, graceful rays, and more. 13. Cebu, Metropolitan Cathedral Officially known as the Metropolitan Cathedral and Parish of St. Vitalis, and of the Immaculate Conception, it is a wide religious structure of Spanish colonial design. Dedicated to St. Vitalis, and built near the fort in April 1565 by Miguel López de la Gaspi, Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral has sturdy white walls, made to endure tropical typhoons, giving it a distinctive Philippine church appearance. The chapel's exterior, which is embellished with griffin and floral patterns, is all that remains of the original structure, because the interior was destroyed during World War II. A gold altar and saint statues that are life-size may be found in the rebuilt church. 14. The Heritage of Cebu Monument The Heritage of Cebu Monument is a collection of sculptures constructed of concrete, bronze, brass, and steel, that depict scenes from historical events and buildings. This is one of the more recent additions to Cebu attractions, as the monument was built starting in July 1997, and was completed in December 2000. Eduardo Castrillo, a local artist, created the sculptures of the Cebu Heritage Monument. 15. Benta Young Island Located to the west of the northern end of Cebu Island, traveling to the island will take you approximately 5 hours from Cebu City, but is well worth the trip. Being one of the most frequently visited areas in the Philippines for its clear blue waters and white sands. It also sports saltwater lagoons, mangrove boardwalks, cave pools, and old ruins. Kota Beach, Paradise Beach, Virgin Island, and Mangrove Garden are among just a few of the many sites and activities to explore in Bantayan Island. Hope you liked this video. For more videos like this please subscribe to our channel.